Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I am back to natural light for this video, thank goodness. If you saw my last video, it was dreadful. I did it in the evening and I don't have any proper lights. So until then, I will be filming in the daylight, you'll be pleased to know. If my stripes and red lips haven't already given it away, this video is my Paris haul. I went to Paris in November, just for the day. It was so lovely, had a brilliant day there. And while I was there, I went to one of the Parisian or French pharmacies. Now, if you don't know, France is renowned for its amazing pharmacies. It sells some gorgeous, gorgeous products. It stocks all of the French brands, of course, at really reasonable prices. So I was so excited to be able to go to one myself. So it wasn't quite what I expected. I know that sounds stupid. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was absolutely manic. The aisles are honestly like this big and it's just filled with women going crazy to get the product, pushing each other out of the way. I, was, I thought I'd have like a relaxing browse around, maybe ask one of the ladies to recommend some products something like that but it was not like that it was kind of get in get your products get out and I think maybe that's why I didn't buy as much as I kind of planned to I just grabbed a lot of La Roche-Posay stuff because I recognized the name and made a dash of this hill it wasn't a relaxing experience put it that way um, so if you are planning to go I would say number one tip plan have an idea of what you want to get do your research before because like I say you can't really browse and have a look and kind of research stuff while you're there it is very much get what you want off the shelf and leave really busy, really hectic, which is fine. I just, because I hadn't, I don't know, I think I just wasn't organized enough. I hadn't done enough research. And if I went again, I definitely would. I think I'd go in just with a list of stuff and just pick up stuff rather than have a leisurely look around. I didn't buy too much. I was quite restricted, mainly because I was only there for the day. I didn't want to have to carry the stuff around all day, but I did get a few things and everything that I have got, I absolutely love. So let me show you what I picked up. The first item is the La Roche you're going to have to excuse my pronunciation of this, I'm afraid. The La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc, or Cero Zinc, I think you say it, and it looks like that. And it's kind of a spritzing a tonic spray. I've been using it as a replacement for a toner, so after I've cleansed my face, I'll spray this all over. It's quite damp, it's quite wet, so I then dab it with some cotton wool, and like I say, use it as a toner. And it just makes my face feel really clean, really fresh, and ready to apply my moisturiser. Now, loads of vloggers and vloggers have said how amazing this is, so I knew I wanted to get my hands on it when I got there. And I actually, to be honest, on the train on the way home, I read what it was and it says, it says, toner for oily problem skin, soothes razor burn, and it says, helps prevent and soothe diaper rash. So I was like, oh my God, have I bought the wrong thing? It sounded a bit hardcore. But I double checked and this definitely is the right product. And like I say, I just use it as a toner and so far, absolutely loving it. This was, I haven't still got the price on it. Oh, here we go. I paid eight euros 20 for this one. I think I actually got ripped off both of this one. Basically, I bought one at City Pharma, which is the original pharmacy I went to, and it's quite well known in Paris. So if you do go to Paris, that is the one I'd recommend. And then later in the day, we were about to go home and I panicked and I was like, oh God, I, although I've never tried it, I was like, what if I really like it? And I can't get a hold of it. So I ended up panic buying another two. Um, so I've now got three, and I think I paid more for these two than I did this one. I think this one was actually only about five or six euros. But anyway, either way, great price, and really enjoying that. And also, it seems to be lasting a really long time. This, like I said, I was there in November, it's now Jan, but I've been using it solidly twice a day, and it's probably down to here. So I'm not even through my first bottle, which, considering I use twice a day, I think it's quite good. And because it is so wet, you don't need much of it, you literally mist it over, dab away the excess, and you're good to go. So I really, really like that, and I'd really recommend that to anybody if you can get your hands on it, just because it is a really good price, and it just makes my skin feel really smooth, really clear, and really clean. So yeah, put those three aside. And then the next thing I got was also a product from La Roche-Posay, and it is the Hydrine Riche, and it is a moisturizer. So that's it in the box. Again, I panicked when I bought two of these, because I thought if I love it, then I'll be really upset if I'm going to get another one. And this, how does it explain it? It says, moisturizing cream for sensitive skin. Now I don't actually have sensitive skin, but obviously I always think it doesn't do any harm to buy products for sensitive skin, because they're going to be paraben free and all of that kind of thing. So this just says, apply to the face and neck morning and evening, and it's also an excellent makeup base. And it, that is true. I was worried, because it is called Hydrine Riche, I was worried it was going to be really, really rich and really heavy on my face. And as I mentioned all the time, I do get an oily T-zone, so I don't like anything too moisturizing. But it, it, it is right, it says it's a good makeup face, and it's so true. It's so, so moisturizing, and it is, 
the consistency does feel quite rich, but somehow it, it absorbs really, really quickly. And it does just leave your face feeling really smooth, really hydrated, and then you can whack your foundation on top of that. It doesn't leave it, you know, sometimes some of the heavier creams do leave an oily residue, and you feel you have to wait kind of 20 minutes before you can apply your makeup or anything else. This doesn't do that at all. I have been using it in the morning, and it is brilliant. I don't have to wait very long at all. It sinks in straight away. I'm nice and hydrated, and I can apply my makeup almost instantly. So again, I'm really, really loving that. It's kind of the most rich cream I've found that does absorb the quickest. So for that reason, absolutely love this. And again, because it is so rich, you really don't need much of it at all. I use a pea-sized amount and it goes a very long way. I think because the weather's so cold for the winter months, that's absolutely perfect. And then another La Roche-Posay product, clearly loving that brand, though that is actually what I had in mind when I went there, that was what I was looking for, is the Serilip, or Serilip. And this is a lip repair cream. And I generally don't suffer from dry or chapped lips, to be honest. But having said that, literally in the last two days, I've had such sore lips. They're all really patchy and sore. I think we've had some really cold weather here in London. And I think, I don't know, it must have just got to my lips. So I'm so glad I have this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like with the face cream, it's really thick, really nourishing, and it just feels really nice and rich on my lips. But what I love about this is that it comes out clear got a nice applicator if you can see it looks kind of white but once you blend it in it's completely clear and I think with other lip treatments like Blistex and things it can leave a white residue on your lips and it's horrible and if you've got red lips anyway because they're sore and you're putting white cream into it I don't know it ends up being a bit of a mess I don't know if anybody else has found that so this is perfect because it is completely clear obviously it gives a bit of a sheen but you can't really tell it's on your lips and it is just so rich it's so soothing I put it on last night and it instantly made my lips feel less sore and feel smoother so really enjoying that as well and I've read I think lots of people like to take this on airplanes because it is so rich in the air conditioning where it's quite drying I think this would be ideal so I'm loving this and I would definitely repurchase if I get a chance when this one runs out and then the next face product is something from Caudalie and I have talked before I've got the Bote elixir spray which I absolutely love it's just like a spritzing tonic and I love that so when I saw that they had this, which is an instant foaming cleanser, I thought, oh yes, I need to try that. And this was really cheap again, I think it was maybe seven euros or something like that. And this is a grape and sage flavor, I was going to say. Fragrance is what I was looking for. This is a grape and sage fragrance. It's a cleansing water, basically. You pump out a few pumps onto your hand, it foams up, and I just massage it into my face when I'm in the shower. I don't put it straight on top of makeup. I take my makeup off with my usual cleansing oil, and then I put it onto kind of my semi-clean face, just to give it another cleanse, another clean. And I love this. It smells good, does the job. I, I'll be honest, Nivea do one that I've used before in a pink bottle which is exactly the same concept as a foaming cleanser. And I don't notice the difference between that one and this one. I just wanted to try this because I was in Paris and they had it. I have been pleased with it. I just won't rush back to get another one because I don't see any extra benefits that one has, say, from the Nivea one. That is all. And then the next product I got, I don't know, again, how you say this, Nukes, Nux, N-U-X-E, that brand. I got the multi-purpose dry oil, which it says you can use on your face, your body, and your hair. So I thought, brilliant. Um, obviously three in one there, what more could you want? I only bought this small bottle because I find with such pure oils like that you only do need the tiniest bit and I thought while I'm trying it out, no point buying the huge one, I'll just get the small one and as you can see, I'll be honest, I haven't had a chance to use this yet. I'm still using another oil I've got so I thought I'd get through that one and then try this one but I'm really really looking forward to this because I've heard great things and I'm, I'm planning just to use it on the ends of my hair just so they don't dry out on my body, on any dry skin. And it says on my face, so I'll look into that, but I, again, I don't like to put two oily products on my face, so I'll check out what it's supposed to be good for. But this is supposed to be a really good one, so I'll definitely keep you posted on how I get on with that. And then the last product I bought was a makeup item, and this actually featured in my December favorites, if you bought that. And it is the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. And I got this actually at the train station on the way home. I just saw it on the stand. And this, I believe, was 15 euros, so about 12 pounds, which I now know, because I looked it up, this is actually about 18, 19 pounds in the UK. So I actually got a real bargain there, which I didn't even realize at the time. But it's just a gorgeous lip gloss, comes with that sponge applicator. Again, I won't say too much about it, because it is in my other video. It's got a lovely light reflecting element to it. So it just really plumps your lips. It's easy to apply. It's a lovely, natural, flattering color. And I've just been getting loads of use out of it. It. And like I say, I got, a, I got it at a bargain price as well. I have been enjoying it so much though, I think I would actually pay full price in the UK for it because I do really, really like it. 
so yeah that's the last bin I got so that's all for my Paris pharmacy haul like I say I didn't go crazy and get too many pieces I just bulk bought what I did like hence the uh, three toners that I'm gonna have to store somewhere but so far all the products that I have used that I bought I do really 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 like so hopefully I'll go back to Paris sometime soon and I can repurchase some of them but if you are going there yourselves or you do want to look up any of the products online I would highly highly recommend them I've personally found they've been brilliant and they've really worked well with my skin thanks for watching guys see you next time bye